so in the last video we took a look at Anna's oscillators and now we're going to take a look at uh, the filters and how they work. So we'll just get a super saw on the go. And again, as I was saying earlier, we've got this filter out control which controls whether the filter goes to filter one or filter two. So I'll select a different filter on each of them, you can hear. I'll put it in parallel. And what what um, parallel button does, you've got two options. You can either have it running in series, so um, the signal goes from filter one and then into filter two. Or when it's in parallel, um, these filters just operate independently. So if it's set to uh, filter out one, it'll go to that filter and if you set it to the right it'll go to filter 2 so you can create some interesting sounds and you can have it in the middle as well so you've got both filters operating at the same time And if we have it in series, um, I'll put this to a high pass and this to a low pass. It goes to this one first, and then into this one. So this uh, is getting high passed first and then getting low passed. So you can create a sort of band pass filter there. Although we do have band passes as well, so let, let you listen to them. And the band passes have a really nice high resonance, so they're great for sort of acid sounds. And we've got a two pole and four pole band pass. And the filter, um, both filters are automatically sent to um, the filter env. So this is our envelope control. So this controls how much um, this is having an impact on the filters. And you can control it for each of the filters independently. And we have a few controls on the filter env. Got our standard ADSR. Um, we also have uh, these three buttons. Um, we have a linear curve, a soft logarithmic, and a sort of hard logarithmic curve. And these just control um, the shape of the, the filter decay and the release. So we can create sort of really tight, plucky sort of sounds. Or real tight bases. or sort of more longer um, curve. Um, 
Um, so we'll set it up just to make a sort of quick base. And you can see the oscillators and filters all working in sort of conjunction. So I'm going to try go for a mini Moog. And uh, mini Moog normally has like a, a standard sort of oscillator and then a low frequency oscillator. So I'm going to use the triangle for the low o octave. Just take these filters off for the meantime. Take it down to two voices. And take retrig off. Uh, Mini Moog doesn't have a retrig sort of feature, although you can turn it on to make your bottom end a bit more stable. And we'll add a two pole vintage, similar to a Mini Moog style filter. And the Mini Moog tends to use a more linear curve on its decays. off in the release a bit. Mini Moog sort of style sound there. Add a bit of noise in. And uh, as I said, you can use your retrig to sort of make things a bit more solid in the bottom end or even in both OSCs. Just gives you a more sort of stable sounding bass sound. So that's it pretty much for the filters. In the next video we're going to take a look at the rest of the envelopes and the GM.